Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be giving you a review slash tutorial on the Phoenix Planted Plus 24-7 HLC LED. So, let's go. Well guys, here is the light. I currently have it on my 36 gallon Bowfront Aquarium. Usually I have a lid on this tank with a hood for the light, but for the purpose of this video, I took it off so you guys can see the light a little bit better. I have the 30 inch version and it goes for around $78 on Amazon right now. So let's go ahead and start off with a review of the light. So I'm actually really happy with this light and I'm super impressed. I don't have any complaints about this light and it obviously grows plants super well, but I would definitely recommend getting two lights if your tank is as tall as mine. I think mine is around 22 or 21 inches tall. And if you're planning on growing higher tech plants toward the bottom of your tank, I would recommend getting two just because with all of this depth, the light loses a lot of its intensity towards the bottom of the tank. But if you're planning on keeping easy, low tech plants like Amazon Swords, Java Fern, that sort of thing, this light is perfect for them. But like I said, I really enjoy this light and I'm super impressed. So let's move on with the tutorial. So this light comes with a remote to actually control the light. Now this remote may look a little confusing and complicated, but it's actually pretty easy to get the hang of. It only took me about a day or two to feel confident in using this. Now to actually use this remote, all you have to do is just point it towards those LEDs right there. There's a white and blue one, and you don't have to point it directly at it, just somewhere in the direction. So let's get started with the controls. So to start off with the two top buttons, you have the power button right here, which obviously turns on and off the tank and then over here to the right you have the max button now this just turns all of the leds to their maximum brightness so the next couple of rows down look kind of like a clock and this controls the preset light schedule that the light comes with that's why it's called the 24 7 version because the preset light settings simulate a full daylight cycle and this orange demo button right here shows you a sped up version of the preset daylight schedule that the light comes with and as you can see it just kind of starts off with a nice red sunrise then transitions to a full spectrum similar to the max settings for a while and then it moves back towards a red color for a sunset and then to a bluish moonlight so you can easily just stick with the preset light settings that the light comes with and not customize your own settings and all you need to do is just hit this white 24 7 button right here so that the blue LED flashes and then just hit one of the timestamp buttons to whatever time it's closest to so it's around 12 15 my time so I'll just go ahead and click the 12 p.m. button so just click the timestamp to whatever time it's closest to in your time. And once you have your desired time, all you have to do is just re-click the 24-7 button. Also, once you select the 24-7 button and the blue light is blinking, the rest of the buttons on the light don't work and you won't be able to use them until you select what time you want and re-click the 24-7 button so that the blue light stops blinking. Now, let's say you wanna customize your own light cycle, which is pretty easy to do. To do that, all you need to do is go to this blue 24-7 button and click it once. So the white and blue LEDs are flashing. Then just go to each setting around the clock and customize the colors. So let's say you wanna start off with 9 a.m., go and click 9 a.m. And then the blue and white LEDs should start blinking one after the other. Once you have your timestamp selected, move down to these buttons down here to adjust what colors you want to use in your light. So for me, since it's morning, I wanna use a lot of red. So I go down to the red colored buttons. The up button increases the amount of red and the down button decreases the amount of red and of course you can adjust any of these colors so let's say I wanted some blue just hit the blue up arrow and let's say I need a white maybe a little bit of green or maybe I use too much blue just hit the down arrow for the blue and each time that you increase or decrease a color it flashes you know you're at the max color setting for a specific color when you hit the up arrow and it doesn't flash anymore but for some reason it doesn't work like that for the down arrows so you could be all the way down on one color and it still flashes so you kind of just have to guess to see if your colors are off but once you have your desired color all you have to do is go to this blue save button and hold it for three seconds until it flashes and then once the white and blue LEDs start flashing at the same time, you know that that certain time is saved. And then you can just move all throughout the timestamps and change the specific color settings. So let's do one more and go to the 12 p.m. setting. And it's just like the other one, just use these buttons down here to adjust how much of each color you want. Let's say I want a little bit more white, I'll just increase that and maybe decrease a little bit of the red. And once you have your desired color, just go to the blue save button and hold it for three seconds until it flashes. 
and you can go ahead and do that for each one of these timestamps. And if you want the light to turn off during the night, just go to your time setting and turn all of the colors all the way down until they're off and save it. Then it will slowly fade off. Something to mention is between each time period listed on the remote, the light will slowly fade from one spectrum to the next and won't just abruptly change when a specific time is met. And once you have all of your desired settings, you just have to click the blue 24 seven button. But again, just like this white 24 seven button, the blue one does the same thing where the whole remote locks and to get out of that all you have to do is just hit your desired timestamp and then hit the 24 7 button again until the blue and white LED stop flashing and if you want to see a demo of your custom light setting just hit the orange demo button here in the black and it'll show you a quick demo just like the other demo button now let's move on to these buttons down here which are the weather buttons they're already preset so all you have to do is just hit one this one right here is just kind of a cloudy day setting with kind of a purplish hue to it and then the one with the light is the same thing except it has flashes of light to simulate lightning and the one with the sun simulates kind of a sunrise or sunset and then the moon simulates moonlight and then the rest of the light settings right here are if you want to make custom light settings similar to the weather settings where it doesn't change throughout the day it's just kind of a solid light spectrum so I can go down here to the white button and turn all the white lights on all of the way and I can do the same for the red green and blue and I can just go ahead and change the color of the light to whatever I want so let's say I want to make some purple just add a little bit of red but once you have your light setting and you click another button so green it's gone which is why you want to save some of your light settings which is what these four buttons right here on the side are for the m1 m2 m3 and m4 so if you wanted to make a purple color and just hold the m1 button for three seconds until it flashes and that's a saved light setting. So you could be in the 24 seven mode right now and wanna to go to a purple color, just have to hit your M1 button and it changes it. You can customize each one of these M buttons, but let's say we're in our custom M setting and we wanna go back to our custom 24 seven mode. All you have to do is just go back to the blue 24 seven and hit it and select the time that it's at. Another thing to mention is if you turn the light off while your 24 seven mode is going, it still goes through the cycles, it just doesn't turn on. So you don't have to worry about turning it on and off and having your time settings get messed up. So that pretty much concludes the tutorial and sums up the remote. Well guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about the light, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video.